know it says in your bulletin, this is children's time, and I don't really understand. I wasn't at the board meeting when that decision was made, but I, I really believe in children's stories, so I like to tell a story. Would you mind if I tell a story and not just do a time? Okay, because I really like stories. So the story I have for you today is a story about Farmer Jenny. Farmer Jenny had a rescue farm. Now, any of you know what rescue means when you talk about farms and animals? Well, it means that you take in animals that are maybe hurt or maybe don't have a home or maybe they were hurt by other people and they don't have that. Or maybe someone was too old to care for them or maybe the animal was too old to be taken care of. And so Farmer Jenny would take care of all these rescue animals. And through the years, Farmer Jenny had animals like goats and ducks and chickens and pot pigs and donkeys and cows and pigeons and even fish and of course dogs and cats. So through the years, Jen Farmer Jenny had lots of different animals. The story I wanna tell you about is about what happened one time with Farmer Jenny and some cats. Now the neighbor had moved away from their farm. And when they moved away from their farm, they left three cats alone. They were young kittens, not very old, but they were across the road from Farmer Jenny's house. And there was a dangerous road, lots of cars going by. So as Farmer Jenny would look across the field, she would see those three little cats playing in the field. And she wondered who was going to feed them, who was taking care of them. Where did they sleep at night? And she prayed for them and took care of her own animals, and then went to her job. Days went by and weeks went by, and still she would see those cats out playing in the field. And then one day, there were only two. Oh no, thought Farmer Jenny, and she prayed for the other cat. That night, Farmer Jenny came home, and she began to put her animals away, and feed them, and take care of them. And when she did, she went into the garage to get something out, and she heard something. Meow, meow, meow. She looked all around inside the garage, and there were some kittens. Five little kittens. Oh, my. And she could see up on a shelf was one bigger cat. Oh, the mama. And so she looked at the mama cat and she said, Mama Kitty, I'm not going to hurt you, but I want to help you. And I'll take care of you if you let me. So every day, Farmer Jenny took food out and set it inside the garage. And pretty soon the mother got closer and closer. And one day, Farmer Jenny grabbed the cat and took her inside with the five little kittens. That all happened on May 5, so that cat was named Maysinko. And Maysinko came to live on the farm. And Farmer Jenny built Maysinko a cattery. Do you know what a cattery is? It's a building that has all kinds of ramps and places for animals to hide and climb up on. And then it has a large cage on the outside so that the cats could go inside and play around and eat and sleep and then come outside and be in the outdoors underneath the trees in the shade and in the sunshine when it shines and they're safe from the road. Well, Maysinko and her kittens loved their new cattery and were very happy, but across the field were still the other two cats and Farmer Jenny watched them. And one day, another one crossed the street. And this one came right over to the cattery and walked around it. When Farmer Jenny saw it walking around, she tried to go close. And as she got closer to the cat, <laughs> the cat smacked at her and the cat ran off. Oh, thought Farmer Jenny, maybe this isn't a good idea. <laughs> that evening, she brought food for the cat and set it down and the cat came closer but waited for Farmer Jenny to leave. But Farmer Jenny turned around and said, little kitty, I'll take care of you. 
and I'll help you, and I'll love you if you let me. And then she went inside her house. The next morning, she came out with more food, and she set it down, and the cat came out from beside the cattery, but didn't get any closer until Farmer Jenny left and went to work. That evening, she came back and put some more food down. Day after day, Farmer Jenny would put food out, but day after day, the cat never would get close. And then one day, the cat came up while she was feeding all the other cats, and the cat stood about two feet away. So Farmer Jenny set the food down and then held her hand out, and the cat came up close and sniffed her fingers. Oh, thought Jenny, now, now I'll be able to touch her. And she re reached out, but the kitty ran off. Hmm. Days went by like that, and Farmer Jenny kept trying. Now that May time had turned to June and July, and it was becoming fall, and Farmer Jenny realized it was the time that cats should have been having all their kittens. This one must be a boy. <gasps> Never got close enough to find out for sure. And Farmer Jenny began to call the cat, Stray Cat, Stray Cat, and call Kitty Kitty Kitty, Stray Cat. And every day she would talk to the kitty, but the kitty never would let her touch him. Finally, after weeks went by, it began to get pretty cold. It was getting fall time now, and, and it was getting chilly outside, and Farmer Jenny realized it was going to need some protection before long. You see, this cat had a strange way of living. Every day, it would be out with the cattery and around all the other animals in their animal sheds, but at night, this cat slept on the roof of the cattery. And every morning, every morning, it would stay on that roof. And when Jenny would look up, the cat would be looking down. And as soon as Farmer Jenny put the food out, the cat would jump off of the roof. But you know, is a roof a very good place for a cat to sleep in the winter? No, the rains are going to come. The frost is going to come. It was going to be too cold. So Farmer Jenny took and put a board against the cattery and stuck a, stuck a, a, a chair with a little blanket underneath it. But you know what happened? The cat immediately jumped up on that chair and lay down and went to sleep. Well, thought Farmer Jenny, that's pretty good. Maybe I could put, get the cat to go into one of the buildings and the cat would be safe and warm. So every day, Farmer Jenny would put the cat food dish a little closer to a, one of the sheds and the next day a little bit closer. And every day she said the same thing to the cat. Kitty, 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 set the food down. I love you, little kitty. I'll take care of you and I will help you if you let me. Finally, one day, when she reached out to set the dish down, she took her fingers and touched the top of the cat's head. <laughs> the cat jumped back. But then when she set the food down again, with the other hand, the cat came close and ate it. Hmm. <sighs> it's getting closer, but not yet. Then... Finally, Farmer Jenny got a shed all ready with blankets and food in it and, and all set for the cat. And she moved the food dish right next to that shed. And you know what the cat did? Ran the other way. <laughs> wouldn't even get close to the shed and wouldn't even eat the food by the dish that day or the next day. So Farmer Jenny went back to the cattery and began this whole process again of moving the food dish every day, every day, and every time saying the same thing. Essie, oh, by the way, 
the stray cat name had been shortened to Essie. Essie? Essie, I love you. I will take care of you. I will help you if you let me. And put the food down. Day after day, moving it closer and closer. Now, the good thing about Farmer Jenny's farm is she had a helper girl that came every week and the helper girl would sweep out and clean out all the sheds every day because when there's a lot of animals, there's a lot of poop. And she would clean that all up. And it was so nice to have all that cleaned up. But you know, Essie didn't like the girl. And so every day when the girl would come, Essie would jump on top of the roof of the cattery and wait until after the girl left. Day after, week after week, that happened. The cat was getting closer to Farmer Jenny, but not to anyone else. Then one day there was a forecast. It was late November, almost December. And you remember there was a lot of winds and rains. Do you remember that happening? When there was a lot of wind at night and it rained 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 and and there was winds that were blowing everything down. Well, that happened at Farmer Jenny's. And when all that came, you know what happened? That cat came every day and got under the board and then disappeared during the day. And Farmer Jenny wondered what happened? What happened to the cat? But still, when it did come, She would give it some food and say to the cat, I love you. I will help you. I will take care of you if you let me. Then one day there was a terrible storm that was forecast. That was going to happen on a Thursday. And Farmer Jenny called up the helper that she had and said, come Wednesday and clean the animals because you won't be able to come on Thursday. So the girl came on that Wednesday and cleaned all the animals up. And that night, the rains came and the winds came and it was an awful storm. And the next morning, all around, there were branches and limbs from trees and trees broken off around the farm. And Farmer Jenny had a lot of work to try to pick things up before the next storm came. She went out to the cattery to put the food out for the little cat again, as well as to feed all the animals. But it wasn't there. She thought, well, maybe it it, it knew enough to go to that other place. So she went and looked inside. No. Hadn't been in there either. (sighs) Farmer Jenny went to work that day. And when she came home that night, she fed all of her animals and put some food out and called to to the kitty. As she always did. But the cat didn't come. Jenny left, Farmer Jenny left the cat food and went inside the house. All that night, she kept waking up, wondering about what happened. Every day, she had seen the cat, either morning or night, but now it had been a whole day, and she had not seen the cat. Had it gone back across the street? She got to wondering, I should have checked the street before I came in, maybe. So she prayed, God, take care of Essie. Keep her safe, or him safe. Well, the next morning... Farmer Jenny went back outside with some more cat food and fed all the other animals and put the food down and called, but no cat. That night after she came home from her other job, she called the kitty again, but no kitty. Now Farmer Jenny was really getting concerned. Maybe the kitty got hit. Maybe it got hurt. Maybe it's sick. What could have happened? All throughout that night, she prayed. Because when you don't know what else to do, what should you do? Pray. Because does God know where the kitty is? Yes. So Farmer Jenny prayed. God, you know this kitty is out there. God, please help me to know what to do. Early the next morning, Farmer Jenny got up and got out her Bible and sat in her favorite chair and lit a candle like she did every morning. And she prayed, 
But as she prayed, that kitty kept coming through her mind. Essie, I wonder what's going on with Essie. And she realized she was going to think about it all day unless she did one important thing. Ask God to take away the thoughts of Essie so she could think about other things. And so Farmer Jenny prayed, God, you know what Essie is. You know what the problem is. God, either give me in my mind peace or help me to let go or help me to know how I could help her or where she is or he is. And just like that, a picture came into her head. A picture of the barn. The girl had come and cleaned on Wednesday instead of Thursday. The girl always went into the barn and put her tools and the wagon back inside. <gasps> Farmer Jenny jumped up, grabbed the key. It was five o'clock in the morning and dark outside. But Farmer Jenny ran to the barn and fumbled with the key as she unlocked it. And she opened up the door and looked inside and meow. There was Essie. Farmer Jenny dropped down. Kitty, 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 kitty. And the kitty ran to Farmer Jenny. And the kitty climbed up into her lap. And the kitty started to purr. And Jenny wrapped her arms around the kitty and said, I love you, Essie. I will take care of you. And I will help you. Just trust me. And then she scooped up the kitty and took her into the house. You can go back to your seats.